Hey, this is James. Welcome back to the channel. I am the unofficial mayor of Cowboy Country, and I welcome you to the channel. And I have big news. And I mean, like, as our former president would say, it's huge, huge news. I am not going to El Paso next weekend. I was going to go. I, I'm taking Friday off uh, because... You know, a couple weeks ago, I tried to get tickets to the Oklahoma State OU game in Norman. Never been to a Bedlam game in Norman. Uh, although I did a good video of their stadium, so hopefully they'll be friendly to me. Um, so anyway, they lost yesterday to West Virginia. Um, you know, welcome to the family, Musket. Uh, anyway. It's, it, I have to admit, of all the bobblehead dolls that I have, and I've started this collection, I think this is the cutest one. I really do. <laughs> um, I like, I like uh, Cosmo. That one I can't stand. So, anyway, uh, so last time I checked that. Well, they they were two hundred dollars at one point, then they dropped down to one eighty, then it dropped down to one thirty five, and I was like, I'm not spending more than a hundred bucks to go to a football game. Then I checked it today, and they're at a hundred dollars. So I actually called my mom. <laughs> okay, this is going to shock you. I called my mom and I said, "What should I do? You know, I've I've got time scheduled off. I'm taking Friday off from work." You know, it's a nine-hour drive to El Paso, okay? She said, well, why do you want to do that stadium? And I explained to her that of the top stadiums in all of Texas, the Sun Bowl is actually number four behind only Kyle Field, McLean Stadium at Baylor, and Daryl K. Royal at in Austin. She said, yeah, but if you go there, you're going to have to pay money to spend on the hotel plus the gas. Um, you should go, and it, this is her words, not mine, her words, you should go support your alumni. So yes, I'm going to be in Norman Saturday, and I'm super, super excited. Now, I'm going to respond to the AP poll real quick, and I also want to respond to a video done by All Sports Central. And I'm t I just when I watched this video, I just wanted to scream because the guy was actually predicting Texas to win the Big Twelve. I was like, Ugh, "Do you not understand what is going on right now?" Apparently not. So I'm going to respond to the the new AP poll and where the Big Twelve teams are, and I'm also going to explain to this uh, knucklehead. Uh, no, Texas is not going to the Big 12 championship game. Not going to happen. It would take lots. Texas would need a lot of help. Okay, so as far as the Big 12 is concerned, TCU is ranked number four. Of course, you got four undefeated teams. You'd expect them to be in the top four. Uh, if you scroll down. Oh, by the way, uh, UCF and Cincinnati, who are coming into the Big 12, they're ranked. Texas and OU are not. UCF is 17. Cincinnati's at 22. Kansas State's at 19. Oklahoma State's at 24. Now you figure, why the heck would now Texas beat Kansas State? But you got to understand, they did it when Martinez was in at quarterback. I believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that if Will Howard had been in that game against Texas, Kansas State would have won. So, yes, that's why I think the pollsters realize that as well. So that's why Kansas State's in the top 25 and Texas is not. Um, and Kansas State should be ahead of Oklahoma State because they won head-to-head. -head. You know, hey, give them their due. Kansas State's got a good team. Will Howard's a really good quarterback. Um, my mind just went blank, but they got this uh, smaller running back, uh, Deuce Vaughn. 
Deuce Vaughn's a great athlete. So, and they got some receivers. So, now Texas did get some votes. Yeah, they're a good football team. If you give the ball to B. John Robinson a lot and he can run the football, which ironically, he could not run. They did not have a whole lot of success um, running the football last game. So, uh, they did. They did not have a lot of success running the football against TCU. So, but still, Bijan Robinson's a stud. Yeah, they deserve to get some votes. Now, here's what's the thing. I'm gonna put them right here. TCU is is in first place, ten and zero in con overall, seven and zero in conference. Kansas State and Oklahoma State are both seven and three. But Kansas State's five and two. Oklahoma State's four and three. Obviously, Kansas State has the tiebreaker against the Cowboys. So if the, the season were to end right now, the, the teams going to the Big 12 championship game would be TCU and Kansas State. So what is, would it take for um, Baylor six and four, four and three in conference? Texas is six and four, four and three in conference. I'm not even going to put up the other five because Tech is five and five, three and four in conference. KU is six and four, three and four in conference. They're going to a bowl, uh, even if they lose their last two. West Virginia is four and six, two and five in the last in conference. I don't, th I don't think West Virginia is going to go to a bowl because um, they got to beat Oklahoma State in that last game, and that's not going to happen. Um, Although I do like their new quarterback. I have to admit that. I like West Virginia's new quarterback. He runs the football a lot. Uh, he is a true run, run pass option. And that guy's, that guy's got guts. Okay. OU did not lose to a bad football team last week against West Virginia. The guy that they replaced um, and put, put this new run pass quarterback in, he's got guts. I like him. Um, OU is 5-5. Five and five. Uh, two and five in conference. Iowa State's four and six, one and six in conference. Um, problem with Iowa State is they got TCU at the very end, so I don't think they're going to win their last two. They're not going to a bowl game. Uh, really, what it boils down to for Tech and OU is they've got each other at that last game. I think whoever wins between Tech and OU will go to a bowl. Of course, that'll gi that'll give them. Now, here's the thing. Kansas State, the reason I think Kansas State is going to go to the Big 12 championship game is because they have West Virginia and Kansas left. And I'm projecting them to win both of those. So they'll finish the year 9-3, um, 7-2 in conference. Remember, even, even if Kansas State were to lose one conference game, well, that's the weird thing is Kansas State would have the tiebreaker against OSU as long as OSU doesn't lose. And then, but Texas has the tiebreaker against them. See, t the problem is Texas would have to, TCU has Baylor and Iowa State. I think they're going to win both of those. Texas would have to beat both KU and Baylor. And then hope that Kansas State loses. Because that, that would cause an interesting problem. Because, because if... All right, there is a way Texas could do this. But Texas would have to hope that Oklahoma State loses one of the last two. And Oklahoma State has OU and West Virginia. So let's just say that the Sooners were to beat Oklahoma State. Okay, so that would put them at four conference losses. They'd be out. Kansas State would have to lose one of the last two, either West Virginia or Kansas. And let's just pretend that they lost to Kansas. So um, then Texas and Kansas State would... would be tied for second place with three losses in conference each, and then Texas would get in. That's the only way Texas would get into the – and that's not going to happen because Kansas State's going to beat West Virginia and Kansas. 
TCU is going to be at Baylor and Iowa State. Um, and quite frankly, I don't think Texas is going to beat KU. It's in Lawrence. So no, that's not going to happen. Uh, Baylor does have TCU at home, and they're at Texas. I don't think they, I honestly don't think they're going to win either one of those, unfortunately. So, bottom line is all sports central. The championship game for the Big 12 is going to have TCU and Kansas State. And I'm picking the frogs. So, you would end up with TCU going into um, the playoff. Um, well, man, I really don't want that because, well, I mean, I mean, the Sugar Bowl wouldn't mind having a nine and three Kansas State because they travel well, but that would, that would put, um, I don't, I don't know if, I don't, I honestly don't know. Let me think about this. If TCU got into the championship game, uh, the playoff, K-State went to the Sugar Bowl, yeah, then Oklahoma State would end up in the Alamo Bowl, and you, you were like, but James, wouldn't you want this scenario to end up to where Oklahoma State would end up in the Big 12 title game? Maybe. I don't, you know, if everybody came back, if everybody was, that's hurt was was healthy, yes, I would. But in order for that to happen, Oklahoma State's got to win out. They got to go to OU and win. They got to beat West Virginia at home, which I think they can. Um, that's going to be a tough game with that new quarterback in play. Um, and then Kansas State, uh, since Kansas State has the tiebreaker against Oklahoma State, Kansas State would literally have to lose both games. And I'm picking Kansas State over West Virginia and against uh, Kansas. So, no, I do not think the Cowboys are going to the Big 12 championship game. I'm okay with that. We've had a lot of injuries. I get that. Okay? But we have an opportunity, as long as we went out, to go to the, go to the Alamo Bowl. It's a it's great facility. Um, even ESPN has us projected to go to the Alamo Bowl and play uh, Utah. One of their two writers. Um, so, hold on a second. All right. See, so they've got TCU. Um, well, one of them has TCU going to the Peach Bowl. The other one has TCU going to the Fiesta Bowl. Either way, um, they think TCU is going to make the playoff. All right. And so you're looking at New York Six Bowl. Both of them have Kansas State. Um, both of these writers, Bonagra and Sh uh, Mark Schallenbach, have Can Kansas State going to the Sugar Bowl. Um. I do believe that means if you can only have two teams in the big six bowls. So if you scroll down, that would put one of the two writers has um, Oklahoma State going to the Alamo Bowl. The other one has them going to the Cheez-It Bowl, which wouldn't be bad for me because my parents live 45 minutes from Orlando. So... But uh, I got news for the guy at All Sports Central. Texas is not going to win the Big 12 this year. It's not going to happen. You know, if Kansas State falls apart and loses both of their games at the end of the year, uh, Oklahoma State has the tiebreaker against Texas. And right now, Texas is 4-3 and three in conference. Oklahoma State's four and three in conference. So if Kansas State were to lose both team both games, OSU has the t as long as Texas if Texas and OSU win both their games, 
and Kansas State lost both their games, Oklahoma State has the tiebreaker against Texas, and Oklahoma State would go to the Big 12 title game. But I don't think Kansas State's going to do that. As long as they keep Will Howard in the game, they will beat West Virginia, and they will beat Kansas. So, anyway, um, sorry I went long. I um, had a lot of material to cover. Um, so this is Monday's video. Uh, I will not do a video on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, I will do my picks for week 12. So if you are new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe. I am very, very grateful for the people who do watch these videos. I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everybody who, who subscribes. I know your time is valuable, and I try to give you good, solid content. And if you're looking forward to a video on the Sun Bowl, I'm sorry. But my mom suggested that I uh, support my alumni. That's why I went to school, graduated in 2004. I'm going to support the Cowboys in uh, beating the Sooners. This is, without a doubt, the dumbest bobblehead I got. I wish I would have just gotten a bobblehead that had the Sooner schooner. You know, the, the wagon. That would have been cool. I mean, I have to admit, I, li I like the two horses. They call one horse Boomer and they call the other horse Sooner. I actually like that. That's not bad. But um, unfortunately, that's going to be a night game and a bunch of drunk Sooner fans. Yippee. Uh, but uh, if my new... Um, I got a, uh, a new hoodie uh, that's going to come in the mail. And uh, if it's here later this week, I'll show it to you in my prediction video because I have a plan to wear camouflage on Saturday. So uh, it has something to do with the military appreciation uniforms and all that jazz. So anyway, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great week.